Hello, everyone. I wanted to show you a um, resource that will be helpful in thinking about doing assessments to adjust and a scaffold for your ML students. This can apply also to various types of resources too. The resource is called Diffit. So this is, um, if you go up, it's um, www.diffit.me. And this is a resource that get, ha, gives you student ready resources. So it will provide kind of the, all the stuff that goes along with the lesson. Um, you can do it off a vocabulary list. You can upload a text, a, a text or a PDF. You can link to an article or YouTube, or you can kind of have it start from scratch. I'm gonna show you two ways to do diffits, two ways. Um, I'm going to show you first with an article, and you'll know you'll recognize this from the assignment that we have you do. And then I'll show you the, the kind of create things from scratch because the assignment that you'll be doing, this is probably more of what you will do. So I'm going to go ahead and link an article. Um, this is an article on using AI for grading. And it asks you if you want to kind of keep the original text, which I probably will because I thought this was a really good article. And it asks you to customize. Um, you can do it in several, in many different languages, as you can see right here, but we'll stick with English. And then what the reading level is of the uh, uh, reading passage resources that you want. So I've got all that customized because since we're dealing with adults, we'll do 11th grade plus, and I'll hit generate resources. Now, Diffit, um, when it creates resources that last long enough to you can sing the Jeopardy song. So it's a little, it takes a little bit longer than some of the other um, AI resources, but still not too long. So what you get when you, um, after you do the diffit is it will provide, it will uh, come up with something that you can kind of print or save right away or send to a Google doc. It starts with an image that you kind of kind of mm -hmm. use as a header. It has several that it's found for you. So you'll notice there's, there's kind of one on assessment. Um, there's the teacher grading. There's the teacher working with students. You can decide which of these images will work the best, but I kind of like the first one I picked. Now, if you want to use your own image with the, those resources, you can do a Google image search and you can look for something more specific. Or if you have a picture that you want to go with the resource already, you can upload that. Now, remember the images I think are pretty key because you are this is something that will help make a connection for your multilingual students to have those visual aids. Now it comes up with a reading passage and you notice it goes, this is the entirety of the website. You can take that reading passage and you can edit the length. Actually, no, you can't, but you can do that when you save from scratch, you'll see in a minute. But notice it has a summary and you can go in and actually edit that summary. It gives you the key vocabulary, comes up with multiple choice questions. And again, you can go in and edit the questions. You can change the order. Um, you can have it show you the answers um, for an answer key. You can copy this over. You can add more questions. And notice it has a multiple choice, short answer, and open-ended. One thing I really uh, like that it does with the vocabulary is you can go in and add images for those. And the process is the very same of what you would do with the images at the top. So if you go to cohesive, you'll notice that it gives you several images. I think cohesive is kind of a hard, hard one to actually come up with. Um, but I think migrate might be a good one. And if we do a Google image search on migrate or mitigate, uh, let's see, I'm going to use, I think that one would work for mitigate. We're going to save that one. And so you can do that for all of them. And then you can kind of save all of them. You can also just remove that feature. But this is where you, when you're um, trying to use it, um, that is how that works. I'm just going to remove images. So then from here, you have all the things. Now, the, the part that makes Diffit great is these student-facing resources. So you can get student activities, and what it will do is 
you have access to all of these on the paid version, on the free version, you, whatever it says free this month, what they say this month because they rotate the resources in each category. You can get um, some basic resources like slides for presenting, digital documents, printables. Um, you can get um, graphic organizers around reading, especially comprehension strategies, a draw and explain, create your own questions. Um, you can do emoji reactions. Um, and you can see the source of where they might have gotten that passage from. It will export to Google Slides, PowerPoint, or PDF. Um, some of them will export to different formats. It'll always tell you what it will format to. You can also go in and customize the activity. Because let's say I'm going to do emoji reactions. I actually don't want the image there. I could delete that. Um, but I want... I want you to do the short answer questions first and then do the multiple choice. Or actually, I want you to start with the open-ended and then do the short answer. You can adjust the order. You can add a different section from all the various things that you've put together. Um, so you can adjust all the resources. Yeah. And then Whenever you want to get back to that main screen, you just you can either go backwards or you can click um, at the top and it will take you back to the main section. You can export this to a Google Doc. It says a printable doc, so Google, Word. You can download it. You can save as a PDF. You can export to Google Forms if you're going to, if you're going to use that maybe for uh, some sort of assessment in Google Forms. Um, so, so there's several different options. I will go ahead and do a second screencast where I show you how to use different from scratch.